So before we talk about the Wheel of the Year, let's take a minute to talk about symbols. Just what is a symbol? Well, I'm sure you can think of plenty of symbols, but what a symbol is, it's one thing that represents another, or one thing that brings another thing to mind, one thing that makes you think of another thing. Like if I was to show you a picture of a cake with candles on it, that might remind you of your birthday. Or how about a, a, a flag with skull and crossbones on it? That would probably make you think about pirates. A picture of a square with a triangle on top will probably make you think of a house, even though your house probably doesn't look anything at all like that. We all have different ways of thinking, so a picture of a light switch might, think you, might make you think of lights on. Or, since we all do think differently, some of you might think about the lights being off. A snowflake, however, will probably not make you think about a hot day at the beach. Unless, of course, you're really freezing and that helps you to think of something warm. You will find, as you learn more and more about paganism, that we use an awful lot of symbols for many different things. One thing that most pagans will agree on is when they see a picture of a sun and a moon together, it will remind them of God and Goddess. Just like many countries will have, have different languages, most of them still have the same street signs as we do, the same symbols, so that we all know, no matter where we're going in the world, that what it means to stop. I mean, It'd be a little difficult, wouldn't it? Maybe confusing if you went to, let's say, New Zealand or France and their stop sign was a purple circle or a yellow triangle. That would be really confusing. You wouldn't even know when to stop, would you? <laughs> the symbol I want to talk about right now is a circle. It's a very basic shape and it's used in many different ways. Most of the time we say that a circle has no beginning and no end, that it just goes around and around over and over again. Now if you think about the whole long year, all 12 months, all 365 days, you know that each year we do the very same thing over and over again. Each calendar year begins on January 1st and it ends on December 31st. We go round and round all over again from the January 31st to December 31st and somewhere, somewhere in there is your birthday and mine. So that's why we call it the Wheel of the Year because it goes round and round and round again so that all the seasons, all the dates, all the reasons to celebrate are repeated over and over again just like a circle. It's a cycle. So that's why we call it the Wheel of the Year. Now. Let's go back to symbols for a minute. Do you think you can match the symbols on this side of the board with the words on this, symbol, on this side of the board? We have goddess, water, god, fire, and earth. Let's see if you can, if you come up with the same answers that I do. So this is a sun. And we're going to match this symbol, this thing that represents one thing and makes us think of another, with the god. This moon is a symbol of goddess. So there we go. And even though you might not know what this is, it's a fire. <laughs> okay, so this fire goes here. And this raindrop reminds us of water. This tree reminds us of Earth. Did you get the same answers I did? Good job.